Father God, we, we thank you for the day. We thank you for the, the joining together of two families. We pray for Jordan and April, Lord. We ask that your hand will be upon their marriage, that your name be glorified. Lord, we ask you for your protection and your love to be upon them. In your precious name's sake, amen. We set out at the first light We lit up with the sunrise Gets my heartbeat running wild When you're here by my side And we'll dream, dream out loud Take our chance, take it now I'd like to say a little something on behalf of me and my mum. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out and sharing a very special day for April and Jordan. To everyone here today, and some who are not, April and I have been completely overwhelmed by your generosity. We've appreciated every gift and every gesture, and would like to thank you all from the bottom of our hearts for the wonderful start in life you have provided for us. Thank you, Abby. We can breathe in the moment. Open arms, we can own it All these dreams we can run down Feel it fall into place now come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Jordan, Alexander, George, Jack and April Maybach and to ask his blessing to be upon them and to share their joy. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body I honour you, all that I am, I give to you, all that I have I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Jordan, you may kiss the bride. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the biggest and final thank you is to my beautiful wife, April. She is the most thoughtful, loving, kind and soft-hearted person I can. You're the first thing I think about in the morning and the last thing I think about at night. Do you mind when I used to write your poems? <laughs> well, I've eaten a little in the very day. Then here it goes. My dearest darling April, our day is finally here, one to cherish forever with everyone we hold dear. It doesn't seem so long ago that you walked through the door of that holiday home I stayed in to your leave in Abbey Moor. <laughs> it quickly became apparent that my chat-up game lacked swag when all that I could think to say was to offer you a fun. You told me that you didn't smoke as I started to perspire, but later had me questioning this as we set the dance floor on fire. From that night till now, there have been a few, with most filled with laughter and fun, and as we begin as husband and wife, many more we will share as one. I know you know you're my favourite, 
I'll say it once more here in Norwood Hall. You do more for me than you'll ever know. My April, my darling, my all. <coughs> we